We made this granite countertop out of a sheet of wood, these two special spray cans, and some durable epoxy. This stuff is tough, it looks real, and you can do this in your kitchen for under 250 bucks. If you can use basic hand tools, you can save thousands on your next DIY kitchen or bathroom project. This stone spray is one of the secret weapons in this simple epoxy technique. All right, applying the stone spray is as simple as that. That was easy, anybody can do that. You can make this natural looking granite countertop right over your existing old surfaces without paying top dollar for that expensive demolition. You're invited to another Stone Coat Epoxy free training. I can't wait to show you how easy this one is. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. For this project, I wanted to show how changing the epoxy undercoat color can really customize this style of spray on granite countertops. As a countertop installer for years, some of my favorite kitchens were either earth tones or gray tones. I'm going to mix a little of our white and black undercoat to make a custom gray that dries really fast and is ready for stone spray and epoxy the same day. Next, I'll use some of our brown liquid epoxy dye and create a mocha creamy brown earth tone that will look fantastic. A little bit of our undercoat goes a long way and be sure to apply two coats for full coverage. Allow the paint to dry in between coats. I really like that gray color, just a tiny bit of white and black in there. I'm gonna go with it. When this project is complete, I'm going to apply the ultimate top coat and then put it to the test. Subscribe and ring that bell so you do not miss that video. It's gonna be epic. This stuff is tough. We are putting this project at Stone Coat Showroom and I'm really excited to see how two colors of stone spray will look completely different just by changing the paint color. I really like how this mocha brown dried. I'm gonna add one more coat and then it's time for the stone spray. All right, let's grab that stone spray. Before I spray on my project, I'm gonna test my two spray cans out on this small piece to make sure I like the pattern and everything is working properly. All right, you're gonna wanna give that can a real good shake before you start to spray. Hold the can a good 15 to 20 inches off the surface of the project. I'm gonna aim straight down and I'm gonna pump the spray head. Don't just slam it open and apply all the stone spray at once. Be conservative, a little bit goes a long way. All the work is in how you apply the stone spray and as you can see, it's really simple. Just barely pump that spray tip, that's the key to success. All right, I'm really pleased with how this stone spray is coming out of that can. It looks great. It's now time to test it out on the project. All right, I'm starting with stone sienna and I'm gonna hit my edges first after a quick shake. Hold your spray can about eight to 15 inches away from the project. Ooh, I like that. This is really easy. All right, my edges are nice and coated. I'm now gonna hit the field or surface of my countertop. So this is stress-free. Just kind of sitting back, seeing where I need a little color. Wow. All right, that was my mineral brown. I'm gonna grab my next color. Just fog that on. Wow, look what that does to the black. Woo. All right, applying the stone spray is as simple as that. That was easy, anybody can do that. Even in your own house over existing surfaces, vertical backsplash, it doesn't matter. This is the project for you. We're gonna let that stone spray dry a couple hours and come back to apply the stone coat countertop epoxy. Stone coat countertop epoxy is a one-to-one -one ratio epoxy by volume, not weight, that you mix for two minutes with a paddle mixer. We're gonna apply three ounces of mixed epoxy per square foot of project. We're gonna mix for two minutes and I'm gonna grab that bucket to keep that from spinning. Midway through mixing, slow the paddle mixer down, rub the sides and bottom to incorporate any undermixed epoxy clinging to the sides of the bucket. Folks, we're taking a survey. 
What color of undercoat do you think looks best with these two colors of stone spray? White, black, gray, or brown? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna take my epoxy and pour it right into the center of my project. Using the notch trowel, mix it one final time here in the center of your project, and then spread the material, keeping it away from the edges at first. Wow, I love how that just becomes so vivid when the epoxy hits it. I really like that gray undercoat too on there, wow. I'm using real light pressure, pretty much just letting the notch trowel glide across the surface. This is just evenly spreading my material over the project so I don't use too much and I don't use too little. Now that the field is pretty much covered, it's okay to now start working the epoxy over the edges. I can't believe how different each color looks using the same two colors of stone spray. Use your gloved hand to get any dry areas on the front and side edges. This will help the epoxy flow for an even coating. I made this countertop out of wood. It was really simple to make and looks just like a chiseled piece of granite. I used glue and a strip of wood to create a drop edge. I then used Bondo to make that edge look like a piece of stone. I sanded down any high points, then painted on my undercoat. You can also add this rock face edge to your existing surfaces. The next step will be to chop the top with a paintbrush. That will remove those trowel lines. Using the heel of the brush, randomly chop the entire project. So we mixed for two minutes in the bucket with a paddle mixer. We mixed again with the notch trowel and we mixed a third time with that chop brush removing the trowel lines. The most important step when working with epoxy is starting out with a great mixture. It's now time to remove the air with a propane torch. You can also use a heat gun, heck, you can even use a blow dryer. But the propane torch is my tool of choice for bubble release. You're gonna wanna hold that torch head about an inch or two from the surface of the epoxy in a sweeping motion, cover the entire project. You're gonna wanna torch that project three times, letting the project cool in between torching. There's no need to torch those edges because the bubble-free epoxy will self-level over, leaving a crystal clear glass-like finish. All right, we're nearly as smooth as glass. I'm gonna torch one more time and then I'm gonna let this epoxy project cure overnight. As I finish up torching, let's go over the keys to success for this epoxy technique. Test out your stone spray on a scrap board before applying it to your countertop. Also, spray down from above for best results. Last but not least, mix, trowel, chop, and torch that clear stone coat epoxy for a glass-like perfect finish. To check out the amazing products used in this video, search Stone Coat Countertops and then jump on over to our website. That stone spray is super hard to find at your local hardware store, but don't worry, we have all the colors and we ship them really fast to your front door. Some people like it glossy, other folks like it less shiny. It's choose your next adventure time. In this video, follow the simple path to a less shiny matte finish, and at the same time, applying the most durable top coat to your countertops or jump over to this video and see the many different custom undercoat colors I create using our liquid epoxy dyes. I really hope you learned something helpful and enjoyed this video. Don't forget you got this, and I'll see you on the next video.